Okay, so the first thing if you have Arete is to log on to ArreteRx.com. It'll bring you to the login screen. So all the way in the top right corner is the login button. So click that and then you'll log in with your Arete username and password. Um, and then to access your DIR fees, you're going to go to financial services. And initially, you could take a look at the DIR fee summary report. If you enter a certain period in there, you can take a look at what your DIR fees are for the last quarter or for the last year. So one example would be to take a look at the month of August of last year to see what your DIR summary report looks like. And you can see the total amount of your DIR fees um, for that particular period. Now, if you want to see more detailed information about your DIR fees, you'll go back to Financial Services and you can go to Central Pay Reports. So Central Pay Reports, you can either look it up by a specific RX number and click Find or to get a detailed report, you can go and take a look at a particular pay period. So let's take a look at October of last year. And you can click on detailed report right here. So detailed report will bring up um, for each prescription number how much was paid and what the DIR fee was. Now you can export it to an Excel sheet, which might make it easier to manage and to take a look at. And what we can do is we can expand these columns. So we'll freeze this top row. In this column J is the total amount that was paid by the insurance company. And then this uh, column Q is the column that uh, is your DIR fee. So if we want to sort by this column, this will give you all the DIR fees for that particular month. Now what you would want to do is match that DIR fee to the prescription number to see what you get and to see how much your profit actually was. So if we took this second one, we would go into your dispensing system, type in your prescription number, see what your acquisition cost was versus how much you got reimbursed, right? And so for this particular medication, even at the point of sale, the pharmacy already lost $2.85. So you add that with the DIR fee of $2.26, and you have a minus $5.11. If we took a different prescription number, like this one, that had a lot DIR fee of $60.63. We could enter that into the dispensing software. And at the point of sale, the pharmacy made $22.99. So minus the DIR fee of $60.63, the pharmacy, while at the point of sale, seemed to make a profit. After the DIR fee, it ended up losing $37.64. So this is some of the information that you can get from your DIR fee a resource on your PSAO website. The other thing that might um, come in handy when looking at these things is that part of what determines your DIR fees is some of your quality measures. And so if you click on the Quality Center tab, 
then you have access to how you're doing in terms of your equip scores for some of those measures. Supposedly, the better that you're doing, the less of a DIR fee they're going to charge you. But even if your scores are really good, you can see that there is still a DIR fee that's assessed.